is going on? What is popping, YouTube world? My name is Jemai McKinney, or you can just call me Juice because that is my nickname. I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right about now as it does help these videos got to the public and my channel to grow overall. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. And turn on post notifications too so you don't miss a single one of those videos that I post is only right, you guys. You know, March Madness is surprisingly right around the corner, guys. It really is. Um, before we know it, March Madness is going to be here. And so I figured I want to talk about some college basketball today. You know, there's some really good teams out there. You know, I think Louisville has a chance to win it all this year. They're a really good team. They're a complete team. They're great defensively. Um, Baylor has, is having a great season. Auburn's a sleeper. As per usual, you know, Duke and Kentucky are pretty much great every single year. Um, unfortunately, North Carolina is having a down year. But either way, there's some really good teams out there, okay? But I want to talk about the Dayton Flyers, the University of Dayton's basketball team. And I'm from the 937. I am from Dayton, Ohio. That's where I was born. So I figured, hey, why not talk about the number six team in the country, the Dayton Flyers today, because I feel like they're slightly flying underneath the radar. You know, I understand that they're getting the recognition that they deserve because they're, they're the number six team right now in the nation. But guys, I think this University of Dayton basketball team is really, really good. I think that they can make a run come March Madness time. I think they can make a run in the tournament. I would not be shocked if they make the Final Four. I really would not. Um... Then they're the number six team in the country right now. They're currently 22 and two. And the only two losses the University of Dayton basketball has had this year has been to Colorado, who's the number 16 team in the country, and to Kansas. And they were both close one possession games and they both were overtime losses. So the only two losses, losses that they have are to two pretty good teams. And listen, Dayton is going to be one of the top, you know, seeds in, in the country when it's all said and done, once the season ends, in my opinion. Um, Obi Toppin, he's a beast, man. Obi Toppin is great. He's going to be potentially maybe a lottery pick. He's really good. There's some people saying that he's maybe the best player in college basketball right now. I mean, I mean the guy's a beast. And you've seen in the past, what do you need to win in March Madness? You know, you don't necessarily need an NBA guy. But spoiler alert, it helps to have an NBA guy on your side, okay? Look at Texas Tech and Virginia last year. Jarrett Culliver, he was a lottery pick. You know, DeAndre Hunter, he, he was one of the top five, I think he was one of the top 10 picks in the draft last year, okay? you It helps to have an NBA guy. You know, you look at Villanova a couple years ago when they won. They had Mikel Bridges. Um, You look at UNC the year, the year after that, Justin Jackson, he was very good. He, he wanted to play in the NBA. So it helps to have a dominant NBA guy on your squad. And let me tell you something, Obi Toppin is really, really good. 19 points per game, um, over 19 points per game this year. He's shooting 62% from the field. He's developed so much at the University of Dayton over the over the last two seasons, okay? He's a matchup nightmare down low, okay? He's often too big and too athletic for guys to just hang with him, okay? He's, he's constantly above the rim. He's flying above the rim, dunking the basketball. He had a crazy windmill dunk last night. I mean, Obi Toppin is a beast, man. And uni the University of Dayton loves to run their offense through him. Obi Toppin can carry you over the top if, if he needs to. He's an athletic big. And listen, he's going to be potentially maybe a lottery pick, at least in the top 10. I would be shocked if he's not. He's a very good player. But Obi Toppin also has help, guys. He's got a squad behind him. Okay, listen, Jalen Crutcher, he's a great shooter. He's averaging 14 points per game this year. You know, Trey Landers, um, 11 points per game this year. You know, Ryan Mikesill, he's a he's a stretch four who provides a lot of versatility. Ryan Mikesill is going to be a big factor for this team down the stretch. Um, E.B. Watson, um, a transfer from Michigan. Okay, he's a spark plug coming off the bench for that team. They have a he's their sixth man. He's the guy that comes in and gives you those needed buckets off the bench. Um, Rodney Chapman, he's a very scrappy point guard. So the University of Dayton is a pretty deep team. They got a solid bench. They've got an NBA player in Obi Toppin. They got some shooters around him too. Obi has support. And this University of Dayton basketball team is one of the best teams on the fast break. They're one of the best offenses in college basketball right now. They're one of the best shooting teams in the country. And offensively, they really can do no wrong. They're going to be very hard to defend come March. Okay. And listen, they can match up offensively with anyone in the country. Okay. And listen, experience matters. Okay. There's a reason why Kentucky and Duke at times the last couple years have struggled to win titles. You wonder why? It's not lack of talent. Duke and Kentucky have always had talent. They lack experience. They, they constantly have guys coming in 
that are just one and done players every single year. Coach K and Coach John Calipari ha are having to retool the entire roster. This University of Dayton team has experience. They have guys that have been that have played in, in March before, that have played a lot of college basketball. So they have the experience, they have the NBA player, they have the shooting, and they just have versatility on offense. And now defensively, I do worry to a certain extent because I think that defensively, they need to get better. They struggle at times defending the three-point shot, but again, I would not be shocked if the University of Dayton makes a huge run come March. I really would not. Um, they're a very great team. Um, they're number six in the country right now. I understand that some people have questions about the competition in the, in the A-10. You know, it's not the ACC, but again, Dayton is dominating that conference right now. They're dominating in ways that they should be dominating, okay? They're a very good basketball team, and I personally think that this year, offense is going to go a long way in March. Defense, is, defense definitely matters, and Dayton is gonna have to, you know, amp up defensively come tournament time to get some more stops, but again, I think they match up pretty well with anyone in the country right now. And I think the University of Dayton right now, the Flyers, if I had to bet my money, they probably are going to be my final four. I, I think right now they can make the final four. They're right up there. I think this University of Dayton basketball team is really, really good. And shout out to Anthony Grant for, you know, really building up this University of Dayton Flyers basketball program. He's done an excellent job taking over, you know, the last couple years. He's built this program and he's really, really done a great job. You know, Anthony Grant is a great head coach. He's got these guys playing very, very well. And I would not be shocked if the University of Dayton makes a run come March. They are legit. Look out for the University of Dayton basketball team, the Dayton Flyers, come March. Be sure to comment where you agree with me and disagree with me. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Stephen A. Smith, Shan Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just flat out just help me grow as a broadcaster help me learn you know get other people hit to this channel you know just share this channel with all your friends share this channel on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms and once again guys just share this channel with everyone you know get everyone hipped and watching these videos get my voice out there and heard share it on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff it's been your boy jamai mckinney or you can just call me juice i appreciate all you guys for tuning in today i really do have a god blessed day stay motivated you guys and i'm out